In this video, I'm going to show you how to create this teleporting effect right inside of Adobe Premiere Pro. So let's get into it. So before we jump into Premiere, you first want to go ahead and capture your footage. So first of all, you want to mount your camera on a tripod, frame up your shot and dial in all of your settings to manual. It's also really important here that you're not filming against a moving background. If there's anything moving in the background like people, traffic, the sky, if anything is moving, then unfortunately it's going to ruin the effect because we're going to be masking later on. So make sure you've got a background that isn't going to change, make sure the lighting or anything isn't going to move and then start rolling. Now, once you've started rolling, you just want to leave the frame empty for 10 seconds. Don't run into the shot, make sure nobody is in the shot. Stand back and make sure you get an empty shot for around 10 seconds. This is your clean plate and it's really important that you have this clean plate in order to do the disappearing part of the effect. So once you've captured around 10 seconds of your clean plate, you can now run into frame and complete the teleporting action. So you can do something and then do a big jump or do something else to create this teleporting effect. But once you've done this, you want to run out of frame and you want to grab a light. Now you don't have to do this, but I find using a light is going to help to add practical effects and tying practical effects and visual effects is going to create a more complete effect. So once you've found the light, you just want to walk around the space and flash the light for around one or two seconds in just a few different angles and try and cast shadows onto your scene. As you'll see in my example on the screen, I'm flashing this for around one second and these small flashes of light are going to be used when I'm teleporting. You'll see why later on. And now that you've captured all three of those elements, you can now drop these into Adobe Premiere Pro and we can begin the editing process. So let's get into it. So we're inside of Adobe Premiere Pro and you can see I've got my three different pieces of footage on the timeline. So this is my clean plate. I'm just going to right click, go up to label and I'll label this yellow. Now next we've got the footage of me getting up from the sofa, looking around and jump. Now at the point where I jump, I'm going to basically find the point where there's the most amount of movements so around here. We'll press C on the keyboard make that cut on the cursor, press V and delete the second part of that footage. Now I'm just going to right click this footage, go up to label and we'll change this to forest. So we've got our clean plate footage yellow. This teleport footage is green and that cuts at the point where the most momentum is. And then we've got all of this flashing footage as well. So from here, you just want to turn the order of the teleporting and the clean plate around. So we're going to put the teleport footage at the beginning. We'll put the clean plate straight after. So we've got our teleporting footage. This is me walking up. I'm jumping into the clean plate and I disappear. Of course, so that is a really basic effect. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to drag the teleport footage up to video layer two. We'll just pull this over to the right a touch. So we'll just extend this a little bit. We'll pull the clean plate over to the left a touch. And just as I start to travel up, I'm gonna press C on the keyboard to make a cut. We'll move one frame to the right. We'll make another cut, another frame to the right. We'll make another cut, another frame to the right, another cut. And we're going to delete that first mini clip and that second mini clip. So we're gonna create this short flicker effect on the teleport, as you can see. Now from here, what we're going to do is we're going to drag the flashing part of the footage on top of that. So we're just going to find a point over here. So I do this flash over here. So we're just going to cut the first part of that and the second part of that. And we'll drag that flash directly on top of the teleport. So I disappear here and the flashing should take place at the same point in time. So around there. Cool. So from here, what we're going to do is we're going to zoom out just a little bit. We'll go into opacity, select the pen tool or the free draw bezier. And we're just going to draw a mask around that right side of the frame, making sure I'm masked out and also making sure that this doesn't overlap this jumping footage here. Now you just want to make sure that flashing is in time. So we're just going to nudge that over. And then as you can see, when this footage comes in, you can see this small shadow appear here. So we're just going to add some feathering to this mask. So we'll go over to mask one, mask feather and increase the feathering. Of course, though, by doing that, you can now see this light start to appear. So we're just going to create a point 
and hide that. Then we'll go to the point where the light flashes. We'll go back one frame, create a brand new keyframe on opacity at 100%. We'll go to the end of that flash. We'll create another keyframe at 100%. We'll pull the cursor back to the beginning of that clip and pull the opacity down to 0%. Then we'll go to the end of that clip and pull that down to 0%. So we've got this fading in and then fading back out. So you can see we've got this small flash appear and we're getting a little bit of shadow cast onto the wall and that's just basically helping to add some realism to this effect. Now from here, what we're gonna do is we're going to select all of that footage, we'll right click and select nest and okay. So that's nested all of that footage into one clip. Now from here, we're just going to add a flash at the point of the transition. So as I do my first flicker, we'll go into effects, search for levels. We'll drop levels onto that nested sequence. And at that point, we want to pull our white input level all the way down to around 100. And we'll create a brand new keyframe on the stopwatch icon. Then we'll go to the left three frames, one, two, three, pull that all the way back up to 255. And we'll go back to that second keyframe and then we'll go to the right by five keyframes. And we'll pull that to 255. So you can see we've got this flash. Now from here, we're gonna create a mask around that flash. The flash wouldn't come from the outside. The flash would come from myself because I'm teleporting away. So I'm going to create a mask around myself. So I'm going to pull out to 50%. I'll go to levels, select the free draw bezier or the pencil, and we'll draw a mask around myself. Now we'll pull the mask feathering all the way up to around 300, 200%. And that's a lot better. Of course, though, this would spill light onto the walls around. So what we're going to do is we're going to copy levels. So we'll go command C, command V. And on the second set of levels, we'll go into mask one and we'll change the mask positioning. And we'll basically affect all of the furniture and all of the walls around. So we'll select the bottom half of this frame. We'll go to that middle keyframe and we'll pull this up to around 200%. It wouldn't be as intense as the actual transition, the actual teleportation. So it doesn't need to be as high. There you go. That looks really cool. Now from here, I'm just going to add some strobe lighting into the mix as well. So we'll drop levels onto the footage. We'll go just a little bit before where that happens. We'll create a brand new keyframe on white input level on levels. Go one frame to the right, pull this down to 170. We'll go to the right one frame and back up to 255. Then we'll copy all of those keyframes and we'll paste them over to the right a few times. So we're creating this strobe light effect. Now from here, we'll zoom out just a touch. We'll go to the pen tool again and we're just going to create a rectangle mask on the top of the frame. Now from here, what we're gonna do is we're gonna copy those levels. And on the top levels that we just copied, we're gonna delete the second set of keyframes there and the third set of keyframes. And then on the pasted one that we just created, we'll delete the first, third, and fifth. So it's going to alternate between the top half and the bottom half. Of course, though, at the moment, it doesn't look like that because we haven't inverted the mask. So what we need to do is go onto these second levels, select inverted, and that should now flick between top and bottom like so. So we've got the light, we've got the disappearing effect, and now we need to add some distortion. So what we'll do at the point where I start to disappear, we'll go into effects and we'll search for turbulent displace. And we'll drop that onto our nested sequence. Now, as you can see at the moment, it's made the screen all wibbly wobbly. It's kind of now, as you can see, it has done this weird distortion on our footage. It doesn't look right at all. So what we're gonna do is we're going to add some keyframing into this. So at the point where I disappear, we'll select amount. We'll create a brand new keyframe on amount. Then we'll go a few frames to the left and pull this down to zero. Then we'll go a few frames to the right after the effect and we'll pull this down to zero as well. So at the moment, this is what this looks like. 
it affects the whole screen and that doesn't look great. So what we're gonna do is we'll create a mask around that top half again. So I just draw a mask around where I'm going to disappear from the frame, like so. Now that's looking better, although the problem is there's no real movement on this displacement. So what we'll do is at the start, just before we add this turbulent displacement in, just before the first keyframe, we're gonna go in to evolution. We'll create a brand new keyframe on evolution. We'll scroll just past that last keyframe and we'll pull the evolution all the way up to around 300. So as you can see that is now moving a little bit. And then just to make this look even more realistic, we are going to go into transform. So effects, search for transform. We'll drop transform onto our footage. We'll go to the point where I start to jump up. We'll create a brand new keyframe on scale and position. Then we're just going to go four frames to the right. We'll increase the scale all the way up to around 122. We'll pull the position up and to the left. Then we'll go down to use composition shutter speed or shutter angle. We'll turn that off and we'll pull the shutter angle up to 180. So that's going to add a nice little bit of motion blur. Although the problem is the zoom isn't at the point where I want it. The zoom should be at the point where the transition, the teleportation is happening. So we'll pull that over to the right. Now that looks great, although the problem is the keyframes look a little bit robotic. So we're gonna add a slight push in and pull back out again. So we'll go to those middle set of keyframes. We'll make a copy of those. So we'll go Command C, we'll move over Command V. And on these middle set of keyframes, we'll push the scale in a bit too far. And when we play this back, it sort of comes in and then zooms back out. But we're gonna do one more thing and that is to add some keyframe interpolation. So we'll select all of those keyframes right click on one of those, temporal interpolation and select ease in. Looks a lot more natural. And there you go. That is how you do a simple teleportation effect right inside of Adobe Premiere Pro. If you wanted to see the more advanced particle based teleportation effect inside of Adobe After Effects, then please do let me know in the comment section below and I'll get that video created for you as soon as possible. Anyway, Thank you for watching. I really appreciate your support and I will see you on the next video. See you there.